Shahir today. I'm going to show you how to use the Carry Wind UV Visible Spectro Photometer. So once you're logged in, you made an entry in the, made an entry in the logbook. The machine's on. You're going to come here and you're going to open the Carry Wind UV folder. And uh, if your lab tells you that, you have to do a scanning kinetics first to find out uh, what absorbance your solution uh, absorbs the, or what wavelength your solution absorbs at. You're going to want to run the scanning kinetics, so you're going to come here and open that program. So you're going to come here and you're going to click on Setup. So once you have the setup open, you're going to put your uh, wavelength in. So if it says from 300 to 700 or something like that, you're going to put that in here. So you're going to put 300 to 700, that's what it's going to scan to. And so a, a Y minimum of zero is, is good, you don't want to go under zero, that's uh, really not a good result. If you want, if you go, uh, if you have an absorbance over two, it's not too good either, so you're going to have a Y max of two and that's, that should be good. Um, these, uh, the scan controls usually don't change them, uh, everything usually goes uh, pretty well. But here at the time, you're going to put your stop time at 10 minutes. And then you're going to click OK. So then you're going to come here, and you, you, you have to ensure that if you do use different cuvettes, you, you want to make sure that you use identical cuvettes, because they could uh, have an impact on the result. So then you put your solution in, and you're going to open up the top here, and you're going to insert with the open end of the cuvette like so and then you're going to shut it and you're going to click start and you're going to wait 10 minutes and it's going to give you your graph all right so once you get the proper wavelength and you you know exactly uh, wh which one it absorbs the most at you're going to open up the folder again and come to enzyme kinetics and once you open up that program you're going to wait once again And again, you're going to click on Setup. So then you're going to come here. So we scanned from 300 to 700, and let's say it absorbed most at 550. So we're going to put that in. And then we're going to come here at the run time. We're going to make it stop at 10 minutes. And again, we got the Y max at 2 and the Y minimum at 0. So then we have everything properly set up. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to put in our sample again with the other cubelet. Close that. And then we're going to hit start. So by using this method and preparing a few standards with the known concentration, you can make a standard curve with uh, the, way the absorbance that you get um, using the enzyme kinetics. So this way you could actually find the concentration of the unknown. With, with enough certainty because of this standard curve. So thanks a lot, I'm Chad Parsna, and I hope you guys uh, have learned a lot about the UV uh, spectral photometer. Thank you very much.